Hi, and thanks again for joining me on MTV. Today, I'm going to talk about what to prepare for your rental property renovation. Because when you are doing a reno for a rental property, we think about that a little bit differently than the place we might be staying in ourselves. But you still need to give it some thought if you want to maximise those rental dollars. Because many of us choose to find an investment property that could be ideal for rental, rental income on the side, and also for future value because it like I've said always, property has a value and you need to plan for the future and think about that. So obviously, when you, if you've bought an, a, an older property and you're going to get it ready for a rental, what do you do? Well, obviously, there's the tidy up phase and that's the main one. And how you maximise that for rental dollars is key. So a few simple tips. Now, this one you've heard before. And if you do anything, you do one thing for your rental property, it's paint. A splash of paint is going to be critical for all rooms doesn't matter how what the age of the, the property is but take that into consideration because particularly with ceilings when you give them a nice ceiling white it actually just brightens up the room gives it a fresh look and there's nothing like actually getting your property ready for rental and someone coming in to see it for the first time a, a potential long-term tenant that smells fresh paint it makes it look like you've gone to an effort to renovate and get it right and they feel like it's clean and new not that it's been a thrashed house so you need to take a uh, common sense approach on how you're going to paint and look at the walls okay you might find you've got a rental property you've bought and they might have things like matte paints where it should actually be a, a low satin or a, a low sheen or even a semi-gloss particularly in rooms like kitchen areas where you do want to go to more of a low sheen or a semi-gloss type paint the, the, the texture of the paint finish is one to assess. So when you're looking at it, don't just think, oh, we're just gonna get some paint and go with one color everywhere, because you might go to the effort of painting, you might do yourself no value at all in taking that approach. So when you're painting, color selections, neutrals always work, whites always work. Check out if you've got natural light or not. If you want some advice on this, we can certainly help in that paint department on helping you guide whether you want cooler whites or warm whites. But give it thought because the paint part, as I said, if there's one thing you do for your rental home property in a renovation, that is the paint part and plan it right, you'll get it right and you maximise your dollars. The next part is bathroom. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell are you talking about? We're not going to renovate the bathroom. No, you're not going to renovate the bathroom because that is a big expense to start with. But you can still look to deal with things, besides the paint piece that I mentioned before, you can still look to deal with things like older tiles and old, outdated cabinetry and how you might uplift that a little bit. Now, a good clean, it could be a varnish on the cabinetry that can help in that, or a sealer that can help there. A really good clean to the tiles is important. But don't forget to even just add some little simple things like scented candles with, or potpourri that can actually help with giving it just an up, uplift in smell and scent and it feels fresh. And again, when you've got tenants coming in, they're gonna think someone's gone to the effort in this place and it gives it a bit of freshness, not that it's just a thrashed place. So these are the little things that count. Same with kitchen spaces. So you're not going to spend mega dollars. It's a room like the bathroom where you're not going to renovate it because it's, it's a rental that you're getting ready for. But you need to think about the state of the kitchen. Now, a lot of the older places that you might buy in that rental property market, have a lot of the time they've got oil and grime and grease on walls, particularly in things like those kitchen areas where people cook and prepare food there are some really good degreasers on the market. Simple degreasers that are non-hazardous, that are safe to use to get rid of that. Otherwise, there are certain ways of using detergents, etc., to remove it, but there's a quick, there's some quick degree, oil degreasers that you can get rid of all that fat and grime. And then, if you need to paint, you paint over that. You don't want to be painting over that sort of uh, substrate or surface and then find the paint peels and you've got a tenant complaining months later. So think about that. And if you've got things like marks on walls or uh, things you just can't remove or repair. Really simple things like prints of food images make the, 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 the kitchen look like it's an area where food preparation is a bit of life to the, to the place. Hang them up. You can get some real good visuals that you can actually print, put a frame on and hang them up to make it look like it's a kitchen area and it's a place which is a bit more vibrant. Things like vases of things that smell nice like rosemary can always help just give it a bit of an uplift. So it's a food preparation area. It's an area where people sort of meet, have coffee, tea, sit around and talk, make it feel like that. And again, when you get a potential tenant coming in, they'll take notice of those things. Even if they're not a food lover, it'll make the area far more vibrant and more appealing to them. 
The other one is shelving. Now, shelving it is so important because it doesn't matter whether you're buying a house to live in or you're gonna rent. One of the first things people look for is the space they've got to hide stuff up because when you're, a, when you're a potential tenant, particularly long term, you bring stuff with you and you don't wanna be thinking, oh God, I'm gonna to have to park my car out in the driver because we're gonna to need to convert the garage into a storage area. If you've got shelving inside, it actually is gonna make it very appealing. Now, you don't have to go and put thousands of dollars of cabinetry in, but you can get smart with some cost-effective cabinets or cupboards that you can put in that are mobile, but it also gives it, it gives the tenant a feel for these places to store things here, and also gives the space just an uplift. It's almost like a, a central piece, a, a focus area. And also, and they're good, some of those shelving units sometimes are great to even hang prints or put frames up on that you can hang. So think about that, because again, these are the little things that count. And when we talk about rental renovations, it's not just about the property itself and what you're doing, it's about making it appealing to that tenant. Rental properties have really huge financial benefits to those that own the properties. So prepare to invest a little bit in those dollars at the start, but plan. I always talk about how that planning is the key because if you don't plan it right, you're gonna find that your investment is not giving the return you want or you're not maximizing your investment. These are just a few tips, but we've got our professionals on board that can help you further on that. If you want that, you can get a 10 minute consult with our crew. They can guide you further on how to get the property ready for a rental renovation and make the most of your investment. Until next time, I'll see you on MTV.